One consistent player throughout the Ukraine investigation has been Rudy Giuliani. The president directed his aides to go through him. His aides were directed to go through Rudy Giuliani. And reading the transcript of what President Trump refers to as that perfect July 25th call with the president of Ukraine, Mr. Trump told the leader of Ukraine to speak to his personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. I'm quoting here. Mr. Giuliani is a highly respected man. He was the mayor of New York City, a great mayor. And I would like him to call you. Rudy very much knows what's happening and he is a very capable guy. If you could speak to him, that would be great. Those are the president's words. The president has also referred to his personal attorney time and time again as a great person. Rudy is a great person. Rudy was a great mayor and a great uh, crime fighter. Rudy Giuliani was one of the great crime fighters of all time. He's also a friend of mine. He's a great person. He's like an iconic figure in this country. Well, last night the president took a very different tune. Here's what President Trump said when he was asked what Rudy Giuliani was doing in Ukraine on his behalf. Note the distance he tries to establish here. Well, you have to ask that to Rudy, but Rudy, I don't, I don't even know. If, I know he was going to go to Ukraine, and I think he canceled the trip. Uh, but, you know, Rudy has other clients other than me. He, he no, I didn't direct him, but he, 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 is a, he is a warrior. Rudy's a warrior. Rudy went he possibly saw something, but you have to understand, Rudy has other people that he represents. I didn't direct him. You know from the transcript of the call that the president directed the president of Ukraine to speak to his personal attorney. Well, does that distance sound familiar? Here is the president speaking about his other personal attorney of more than 10 years, his so-called fixer, Michael Cohen, in December of last year. I never directed him to do anything wrong. Whatever he did, he did on his own. He's a lawyer. Hmm. Sounds familiar doesn't it? We all know how that ended. Joining me now to discuss former White House Water Independent Counsel Robert Ray and Nick Ackerman, former Assistant Special Watergate Prosecutor. Let's begin on that. Uh, of course, we had a lot of sworn testimony, did we not, right. uh, of how the president, uh, they were, people around the president were directed, directed on Ukraine policy to go through his personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. Now the president is saying, I did not direct him. Is that a credible claim? Uh, not at all. I mean, this is the old Rudy who defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, the same thing he did with Michael Cohen. He's trying to distance himself because all of this testimony that came out during these hearings basically put it on Rudy Giuliani as the spear carrier for Donald Trump mm -hmm. to get the Ukrainians to make this announcement about these investigations on Biden and this investigation into this crazy debunked conspiracy theory that Ukraine was responsible for breaking into the Democratic National Committee, not Russia. Robert Ray. Look, I don't, I don't know about that. I mean, directing an invitation by the president or a direction by the president to speak with the president's lawyer is a different thing than directing Rudy Giuliani's activities. All the president was suggesting there is, look, he's my lawyer. You'd have to ask Rudy as to what Rudy did exactly. I, that's a, that's a. You look at the transcript the, of the call. The, the, he the, says, "Go to Rudy." Uh, at the same time, he's saying, "I need a favor." Well, again, the president is saying, "I, you know, I'm accountable for the fact that he's he's my lawyer." Uh, but Nick, you'll know. I mean, it's not unusual for the attorney, obviously, to be doing things that are outside of the knowledge of the principal who is the uh, who's the client. Well, it is unusual because you don't do something. I never do anything without first clearing it with my client. Uh, and in this particular case, I mean, you've got the testimony of Ambassador Sondland, who made it very clear that he was told that everything he should do should be at. At, at Trump's behest, should be at the direction of Rudy Giuliani. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt here. I mean, the testimony is pretty overwhelming. 